more and more protests are going on in the world completely ignored by mainstream media. A great quote for this is, the revolution will not be televised. You will never see anything on the news that discredits their agenda unless they intentionally want you to see it, controlled opposition. However, sometimes things get a little out of hand and need to be covered up. Is Southwest Airlines lying about weather cancellations when its pilots might actually be unofficially striking? On Saturday, thousands of travelers were left stranded due to mass cancellations that rippled across Southwest Airlines flights. The official statement from the airline says it's due to inclement weather, but one report suggests it's because of striking flight crew that are revolting against the mandate. What gives? An official tweet from Southwest Airlines. ATC issues and disruptive weather have resulted in a high volume of cancellations throughout the weekend while we work to recover our operation. We appreciate your patience as we accommodate affected customers and customer service wait times are longer than usual. Now the average person just takes whatever the news reports for granted. I figured I would first check the weather to see if they were telling the truth, but someone else on Twitter was one step ahead of me. Just stop. Unless all of your flights are trapped in South Dakota, just admit you don't have pilots. Don't plan on air traffic controller or weather. Just tell the truth and then rebook everyone and find some crews. And if you go on Twitter, there are hundreds of irritated people because canceled flights means missed special occasions, especially weddings, which can't be replanned. Mm. The point here to make is the average people are suffering as a result of these protests, not the parasitic elite class, which have their own private jets. All mandates, all the rules in these specific sectors, especially government, have nothing to do with the 1%. They are unaffected. Southwest cancels more than 1,000 flights. Pilots say it's not a protest over mandate. So that article is dated October 10th, one day after the one we just read, you know, after this was allegedly figured out. So what are they trying to do? Damage control? What's the point? This article states the opposite three days before on October 7th. Mandate pushback rose into protest outside American Airlines HQ. Employees marched in Fort Worth as the company told them they have until November 24th to submit proof or be fired. This is far from over though. Southwest is continuing to cancel flights and many people are still stranded in the airport. They can't even get cars because all of the rental cars were taken by the other people that missed their flight. The official statements are comical. New. Southwest Airlines has canceled another 1,000 flights, more than a quarter of its Sunday schedule, per flight aware. It's the second strike day of major issues. Southwest said yesterday it was working to recover our operation. First on CNN, FAA insists there are not air traffic control issues causing Southwest cancellations. Due to aircraft and crews being out of place, some airlines continue to experience scheduling challenges. No FAA air traffic staffing shortages have been reported since Friday. Update. Southwest says it has continued diligent work throughout the weekend to reset our operation. It has been trying to get planes and crews repositioned after issues began on Friday, but with a limited schedule, recovering during operational challenges is more difficult. We're here in the middle of it, stuck in Houston. Pilots and other personnel are refusing to work due to forced mandates. I'm not here to talk politics. That's the truth of the situation, from a family stranded without luggage or access to a rental car to get home. Hey, I know some of you guys complain about my accents, but what am I supposed to do? Read five different articles in my same voice or just one reporter voice? That's no fun. And now that I think about this, it's perfect timing right before the holidays. Get all of the staff at the airlines to protest or quit so people can't even fly to visit their loved ones. They're really trying to condition the public to be caged rats. Last holiday season, people were too scared to leave the house. Now what? Are they going to make it so you can't even travel? This is becoming more and more dystopian by the day. You know, it's been almost two years now since all of this <coughs> nonsense has started. And I think it's going to be at least a five to ten year process. Slowly locking people into the new normal, which is a term that was used unusually quickly. And I, I have to do a whole video on how, you know, this is really just 
the beginning of the nonsense and what people have to deal with because they love playing stupid, but everything is carefully planned and orchestrated. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, please go to frank-stefano.com to support me through all of my businesses, and I'll see you guys for tomorrow's vlog. Thank you.